Sarah Green was a fun-loving 20-year-old. Her life was just beginning when she was brutally murdered. Sarah Green was your average young adult. She had her whole life ahead of her. She was about to start her last year in university studying chemistry, but however, before she got a chance to change the world, she was brutally murdered in these very woods. Dude, uh, where, are you, where are you going? She was killed over here, right? No, body was found over here. I'm the director and uh, writer of this documentary. More importantly though, I'm Dermos, sorry, Sarah's uh, best friend. That's why I'm making it is to try and uh, get some eyes on it, um, potentially solve it. Uh, the closure, I don't really fucking use some closure. Really know of that one. <laughs> About four months, maybe. <laughs> but man, if they weren't the four best months of my life, she said she changed my life. Just clicked instantly, we liked all the same shit. <laughs> We'd stay up all fucking night talking, just I don't know, asleep. <laughs> we were always there for each other. It was bad for me, and I was short of by. Been there for Sarah's body was found here, only half an hour after her estimated time of death. She was stabbed six times. Five times. She only stopped five times. Just go again then. Right, yep, yeah, uh, just give me a moment and let me get the photos of that and action! Sarah's body was found here, only half an hour after her estimated time of death. She was stabbed five times. While the murder weapon was never actually found, the style of wounds led the police to believe that it was maybe scissors. Sarah got back with her ex. He was a piece of shit, he was controlling and abusive. The last conversation I had with Sarah was <laughs> as an argument. We were arguing about her getting back with him and the last words she ever said to me were that guess we'll find out. No profound quote, no I love you, no goodbye, just that guess 
guess we'll find out. It's been so long trying to put some meaning on that sentence. But it's just a sentence. There's no great poetic meaning. There's no symbolism. It's just a regular sentence. Because the rivers in the world streams thought that it would ever be the last few. arrived at the scene at 10.35 a.m. Only five minutes after being called, they found that the body was missing a necklace. Necklace? Was, was, what? Nobody ever mentioned a necklace? Well, I uh, just assumed that, you know, in the photo she was wearing a necklace and it was never found on the body, so... Right, well, uh, let's uh, just leave the info, like, to what we've got for the report, okay? Yeah, we don't want to make any assumptions and shit. Alright, uh, my bad. The police never found out who killed Sarah. There were suspects, but never enough evidence leading towards them. The first suspect, of course, was the abusive boyfriend. There were multiple first-hand accounts of him attacking her, and hundreds of photos of bruises and marks all over her body. Nothing, however, could quite bridge the gap between abuse and murder. Suspect 2 was Sarah herself. Some believe that she may have committed suicide and that she realised after getting back into a relationship with her abusive ex and completely falling out with her best friend that she just couldn't take it anymore. And suspect 3 is... Me. They thought I might have killed her. They thought... Because the last time I saw her, we had an argument that I might have held grudge and act out in anger. There's no other evidence other than that. So after a couple of interviews, it was it was dropped. So yeah. So who killed Sarah Green? Well, for now we have no answer, but hopefully one day we'll be able to close this case. And caught. Um, yeah, that is a wrap. Thank you so much for everything, man. Absolutely no problem. Yeah, I sh hope uh, that the, the goes some way to solving who did it. Yeah, I guess we'll find out.